All right, guys, so before we get started, I just want to quickly apologize. There are huge fans in this storage unit, so the audio is not the greatest, but we still find a bunch of awesome stuff, so let's get into it. Welcome back to Jesus Gaming, guys, and guess where we are? As you can see, we got us another storage unit and an absolute steal again. Only $90 for this, and it's actually a 5 by 10 so it is a very long storage unit. Tons of stuff covered. Fingers crossed we're going to make a ton, but let's take a look. Kaboom. We got mustard, we know that much. But anyway, let's get into it. All right guys, let's start going. An empty pink bag, glorious. Hundred dollars, easy. Just kidding. Good, but we got this thing. Looks like a bunch of shoes. And as I learned last time, that is definitely not made a bad thing. Let's see if we see any brand name on these. Not really. What about the fancy ones? Madding girl. You guys, let me know in the comments again, because I'm not sure about this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about this one? Fancy. I don't know what logo that is. ID. All right. What do we have here? It's in a trash bag. It's scary. Ooh, a lean meat fat grilling machine. Look at that. That is actually really nice. This box. Let's see. What is that? Is that a juicer? Remove for cleaning. It looks like. It looks like a juicer. Those can't be cheap either. Look at that. I mean, there's a little bit of grime on it, but that'll come right off with a few wipes. So, again, we're doing good quick here. Oh, I see a purse, it looks like. Really old looking pictures. Wow. I don't have, I don't have any idea how old they are, if they're valuable or anything like that. But that's interesting. Ooh, a TV remote. Do we have a TV in there? A sharp TV at that. Some paperwork under here. I'm never, ever gonna doubt paperwork again. Last time I thought it was just paperwork, all that cash, so. A purse. A nice looking purse, too. What's in here? Uh, not sure there. Uh, something to do with cooking. Looks like a cutter or something. This was sitting underneath of it. It made it look like it was a freaking wallet just sitting there like that, but it's a heavy bag here. What do we got? Clothes. What? Oh no, not just clothes. Lots of stuff buried in here, so. Lots of paperwork we're definitely gonna be going through once we get home. Paperwork has become one of my most interesting things now after the last time, and if you didn't see that video, you should understand why. I don't know why I've seen it in a while. A lot of people like to put money in Bibles. Well. Wow. Oh. What do we got here? What is that? Golf balls? Golf balls? Is that like an odometer? No, it's a, something to do with a golf ball. Maybe it tests your speed. That's weird. I don't know. Ooh, a Dell monitor. Maybe we got a computer. Oh. Look at that. Well, let's get some specs on this. Let's look at that in a second. It's a Microsoft, it's a Windows, HP it says, it definitely looks dirty. Let's see if it cuts on at all. Maybe not right now. It's got Windows Vista, so it's old. And it's not cutting on right now. It might be dead, but we can get that working. That's decent. Nothing we're going to go through now, but something I'm going to like enjoy the crap out of going through once I get home, because you just don't know. You just don't know. This looks like coffee thing, maybe? Not 100% sure, but again, it's just dirty because it's been in there for a while. We clean this stuff up before we try to sell, so that's decent too. This actually looks like a laptop case. Let's see. Ooh, another purse. 
Gonna be the lucky one, guys. Dun dun. Oh, you scamming. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, if your goal was to troll me, you got me. Mustard. Huh? Mustard. That looked interesting. It's another lock one now. Huh. These locks, they need, they need to work on these locks. Dun dun. Paperwork. Um, some Christmas cards and stuff. Who knows what could be in here? I think it's gonna be all we're gonna feel to fit in the car for now, so I'm gonna take this out and see if we can come back or not. So, see you then. Alright, guys, so we got a bit more room in the back seat, so we're gonna keep going and get a few more things out of here before we gotta take a trip home. At least this one is close to home and not through crazy traffic, so it makes it a lot better. And we have 24 hour access, so this would be the easiest one we've done so far. Let's see if it's just closed or not. Or if it appears to be just closed. Like I said, we'll go through everything in more detail at home. Looks like a closed one. It's got a padlock on it. That's intriguing, but it's not really doing anything. Maybe this is a good one. Hey, a flashlight. The dead. Uh, that one looks a lot more interesting. Heating pad, some purses. This one has some in it. Let's see what's in it. Probably just random junk. This one's so beat up, I don't even know if we could donate this one. Just tons of random stuff. Even a little wallet. Fingers crossed, guys. Dun dun. How's it open? I feel stupid. I don't see nothing in there. But again, I feel like a broken record, but we will go through everything in detail once we get home. Looks like another bag. Another purse. There's a lot of purses in there, so this might be the one. Dun dun. Dun dun. Aww. This looks to be all closed, but let's see. Oops. That's all closed. Don't throw it out there. Look at that mirror. That is huge and nice quality. Wow. That's valuable. Yeah, it might stick on the back of one of these pencils. Guys. Look at that. Expired. That's the same laptop we got. That is heavy, too. That is heavy. Oh. Oh. You, why would you troll. Why? Okay, you got a pot in here and fake money for the bag. This was a setup. Nick. These two cases are fan- Ooh! Ooh! What? Final Fantasy 3 or 2 for the 12? Oh, you troll! That's dumpster diving. This is just like dumpster diving. It's even got the book with it. Oh, that disc has to be in here somewhere. I'm hoping. We got a penny. We got cash. Some more prescriptions. Lovely. Down here. Hey, 50% off. An old Walkman, it looks like. Hmm, this is tied weird. This has to be the secret vault. Ooh. There's glasses in there. I wonder if we got more Ray-Ban. Now these look like real glasses. And these look like actual cards in here, so... This might be the bag that has personal stuff in it that we'll have to go through later. Oh. 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 Oh, it's probably fake. Yeah, it looks fake. Probably. I mean, we'll get it looked at, of course, but I'm gonna assume that's costume jewelry. That's what it looks like. Oh well guys, I think that's probably going to be all that we're going to be able to fit in the car for now, if this much, so we're going to get this to the car, take everything home, and then we'll check in next time we come back, so see you then. Alright guys, so we took everything home, went through all that stuff, and didn't find too much of anything. A few cool collectibles, but we'll be going through that in a recap. We did find about 11 or 12 bucks in change, no bills, but we did get change. Without further ado, let's go into the book bag. Ooh, it's heavy. 
And guys, by the way, I've never seen somebody hoard so much paper in my life. What do we got here? Guest book? Okay. You can see nothing in there, but still a nice little storage tub thing. More very old looking pottery. Except this looks broken. But then again, it does look really old. Definitely handcrafted, I would say. Nothing written on it again. Alright guys, so we just finished getting all the boxes out. There's nothing that looks too, too interesting, but we are going to go through everything once we get home to let you know. But as you can see in here, we do have some nice looking old furniture. That chair looks very, very nice. That mirror is huge. This table's nice. It looks like a wine rack back there. And it looks like we have two really heavy duty dressers, so... That can definitely also fetch some good money. We're gonna take, we just took pictures of everything, that's why it's all moved around. We'll have this stuff listed tonight, and hopefully we get some money for that. If not, oh well, at least it looks cool, we might keep it. But anyway, let's get this stuff home real quick, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so I wish I could tell you that there was a bunch of buried treasure, but unfortunately, there wasn't too, too much in this unit. First bit of bad news, this laptop you saw, we only got 20 bucks for it. It's because, first of all, it's old. Second of all, it's continuously crashing. Third of all, the screen is busted. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the screen is completely busted. So we got 20 bucks for it. We're gonna get 20 bucks for it. I already talked to a guy, just cause I guess the fan and stuff still good in it. So it's still good for parts, but unfortunately it's kind of broken crap. We found this, which is not really worth much. I just thought it was kind of interesting. It's an old cup from the Philippines, and it's made of wood. I've never seen a wooden cup before, so I don't really think it has much value to it, but it definitely was interesting and different. And these are the two collector things we found, which again, were not quite worth as much as I hoped, but they're two Elvis Presley plates from 1990, and they actually have like specific plate numbers and everything to them. So when I first found them, I thought we had found something pretty expensive, but unfortunately, the pair only goes for about 20, 25 bucks on eBay. So not that big of a deal either. We also found a little bit of software here, uh, older antivirus, but this still fetches about $20. So not terrible, a little bit of extra cash and very easy and cheap to ship. We also found print shop which I've never used before, but we did it for some research on this, and this is actually worth about 30 to 50 bucks, so hopefully get $30 for that too. Other than that, guys, it was a lot of trash, like probably 10 bags just full of paper, and probably about 12 bags full of clothes that we donated. Nothing was big brand names or anything like that, so we got 12 bags of clothes donated. We did make some decent money off the furniture and a few small things. You know what? It's still fun to dig. You can't expect the jackpot every single time. But anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day. We're going to be trying to do these every single week if possible. But obviously they're auctioned, so we don't know if we can. Guys, if you want to follow us on our social media links, the links will be down in the description below. You also see it on the screen. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.